So I'd like to do a couple examples from the homework in 6.3. So this is going to be question eight. So in a survey of 2008 adults in a recent year, 703 made a New Year's resolution to eat healthier. Construct 90% and 95% confidence intervals for the population proportion. Interpret the results and compare the widths of the confidence intervals. So we're gonna actually use technology to develop the confidence intervals. So remember, when using the technology, we need to know the number of successes, the sample size, and the level of confidence. So remember, we can go to stat on our calculator. We slide to test on our calculator. And then for the population proportion, we go down to where A is. Scroll down there to, so where you see this one prop, Z, I, and T. So again, if I do that, stat, test, if you need to scroll down, you can. It's right down here. So we're going to choose that one. And notice how our number of successes, we're saying 703 made New Year's resolutions. And there was 2008 of those. And we're going to, we want to be 90, we want to build a confidence level that we're we're 90% confident to start with. So I believe in your homework, they want this to be rounded to three decimal places. So this one would be then uh, 0.333 to 0.36. If I round to three decimal places. So it's about 90% confidence. Notice how it also gives you your p hat. So notice how we're talking about p hat is 35, around 35%. So what they're saying is based on the sample proportion, which is 35%, we're 90% confident that the population proportion is between around 33% and 36%, basically. So what we're doing is creating this confidence interval. If I kind of draw this just on a, a line here, that we have this 0.333 over here. We have this 0.368 over here. And notice that 0.35 is our sample portion. It's in here. And what we're saying is our population proportion, we're 90% confident that it's between these two values here. So the next thing is I want to be 95% confident. So if we go back to stat, test, go down to our strategy here. Notice how successes and the sample size doesn't change, but our confidence level changes to 95% this time. So notice that now we have this 0.329 and we have this 0.371. So notice that this confidence level is slightly wider so 0.329 is a little bit more this way. The 0.371 is a little bit more this way. So to be a little bit more confident, I'm giving myself a little bit more wiggle room. And notice that the, uh, the sample proportion is this 0.35. Notice how it's in between. And what we're saying, though, is we're 95% confident that the population proportion is between these uh, two values, this 0.329 and this 0.371. So 
So as we move into the other questions, with given confidence, it can be said that, again, this is all about the population proportion. So it's, it's said that then the, uh, let me try to write that a little bit better spelling. With the given confidence, we're, what we're saying is the population proportion for everybody So the population portion of the adults who said they had New Year's resolutions to eat healthier, it's going to be between these two values. It's going to be between these endpoints. So it's going to be between the 0.33 and the 0.368 in the 90% confidence level. And in the 95% confidence level, it's going to be between the 0.329 and the 0.371. Now, if we're comparing the widths, notice that the if we want to be more confident, our confidence interval has got to be a little bit wider. So notice how the 95% uh, the confidence interval needs to be a little bit wider as we do that. So that kind of takes us through uh, question eight.